Hi there, it's Professor Khan. This is the second video lecture for HE111W. This week we're doing something a little different. Instead of reading short stories and talking about them, I'm asking you to go to the Washington Post and to read entries from its old autobiography as haiku column. Uh, this column, this series, is not run anymore, but um, it was run for a number of years, and area uh, readers would write in and give roughly 100-word um, anecdotes. That's the best word for what they wrote. Uh, short, short stories about their lives. Um, obviously, you can't fit an entire life into 100 words, so these are these are snippets. They're vignettes. They're uh, brief glimpses into an aspect of the person's life. I would like you to read a minimum of six of these. Um, I, I know it's easy to just kind of stop after having hit the minimum, but I think that you'll find very quickly that these these reward a deeper dive. Um, they don't take long to read at all, and you may not find the first two, three, four um, all that interesting to you, but there are many, many of these anecdotes to choose from. So skim around, try different things out, and keep a record of which ones really work for you, because we will talk about those six that you choose to focus on, and we will use them as a basis for talking about what goes into telling a 100-word story about oneself because you need to know how to convey certain aspects of um, your character, your life, of an event. You need to know how to deliver an image very quickly. You need to be attentive to qualities of language and how those might suggest things about the world you inhabit or the story that you're telling. And without good examples, um, our abstract conversation will be nothing but abstraction, and I don't think that's going to be interesting to you. So please make sure that you read for longer than a few minutes. Um, maybe check out more than the bare minimum of six. You should also make sure you, re you review the essay three assignment, which uh, gives you a day-by-day -day record of uh, what we're doing and how we're going to go about doing it. Uh, the culminating work uh, will be delivered this weekend, and that will be Essay 3, which will be your own 100-word uh, autobiography as haiku. So uh, I look forward to talking with you in class about these things. I hope everybody is well, and I hope that uh, hope you've had a nice weekend, and I'm looking forward to another week of work with you. Take care. Bye-bye.